Hello everybody, this is Jesse from Napco Tech Support. And today I'm going to go over how to make changes to the factory default programming in your Firelink panel. We're going to have to first start by opening up Quick Loader. This needs to be previously installed on your PC. We do have other links um, below to explain how to do that if necessary. And when you log in any prompts, you can kind of just close them. Now that we've logged in the quick loader, this is only going to apply to the first time use is you're going to need to set your quick loader up to be able to connect to your Starlink radios through quick loader um, by put, putting in your company's master Starlink ID and password. So we're going to do that by going to file, dealer settings, and click on Starlink default. And again, you need to put in the company's master Starlink ID and password, which is going to be the company phone number that the account was registered with and the password. If you have a user account for ComNet, this will not work for uploading and downloading panels. And the password is case sensitive, very important. Next, now that we have Quick Loader up, to be able to upload and download panels through the Starlink radio, we're going to have to make a new account. So we're going to click on new and we're going to, the account, you can give it the account number or the account name, it doesn't matter. This is just how you're going to identify the account in Quick Loader. I'm going to click apply and then OK. Next, we need to pick the NAPCO panel type. So for a Firelink panel, you're going to pick a Gem C, make it a Firewolf it's not a combo and it's 32 zone panel with two NACs. Next you're going to have to type in the master security code which is located on the sticker in the upper right hand corner of your panel and it's always going to be a six digit number. Now once you type that in you're going to click apply and then OK and now the account is opened up. Again any pop-up boxes we're just going to close them out for now. So. The Firelink panel, like I said before, does have a factory loaded program into it with most of it done. So if you need to make any changes, we're always going to want to upload the panel first. So we're going to start by clicking on the radio icon, the radio GPRS icon, and then we're going to have to enter in the radio ID number of the Starlink radio that came with the Firelink panel. Click on Save. And now we're going to pick, very important, we pick Upload from Panel to get the default configuration. And we're going to click User, Dealer, and Description Area. And then once we have that all set, Upload from Panel, User, Dealer, and Description, we're going to click OK. Now Quick Load is going to connect to the radio, then to the panel, and upload the factory default program. This will take a few minutes. And as you can see, there's also a percentage indicated down at the bottom. And we're now connected, and we are starting to upload the program. Okay, now that we've successfully uploaded the program, data transfer complete successful, now we're going to click on the door window icon. I kind of refer to this as the main quick loader screen. This is Now you can see you have your descriptions of your first eight zones on the panel and what kind of zones they are. So if you needed to change one of the zone descriptions, like you were adding um, additional smoke detectors or a heat detector or pull stations on the um, zones five, six, or seven, you needed to change the description. We can simply do that right here. We 
Again, this will apply to all the other zones. If you need to change the zone type of something, you click on the zone configuration for that zone, and you can change the options for that zone to make it a water flow or a supervisory or anything that you needed to. If we were going to go add a remote enunciator to the system, that would be done in keypad assignments by taking number two address and setting it to area one. And you would also have to then address the other remote enunciator as keypad number two. And that's explained in another video. We'll also post that link below. Once you're done in this screen, you can click apply and OK. And now that we've made changes to the system, we're going to download them back. Now, so we're going to click on our radio GPRS. We're going to do download from panel and check off user, dealer, and descriptions. Now, before this is done, <clears throat> it's very important that the Firelink panel is unlocked and enable programming is selected and the Fire panel is in error check mode. You can always upload and take an event log or status without a technician on site, but for NFPA and UL regulations, you must have a technician on site after the download to test the system. So in order to send a fire change to this panel, um, the panel again must be put into error check mode. And that's explained in another video. We'll also post that link below. Okay, so our Firelink panel is unlocked and enabled programming has already previously been selected. So now that we have downloaded the panel, click off our boxes, we're going to click OK. And this is going to look very similar to doing the upload, except we're going to be sending the information back into the panel. And again, you need to make sure that your program is error free. If there are errors in the program, there will be a prompt before you send a download telling you to correct the errors and display what errors, programming errors you may have incurred. And coming up here shortly, because we did have an error-free program, we'll see that now Quick Loader is going to automatically attempt to clear the error check from the panel, and we did a successful download. So now your Firelink panel should be reading all systems normal. Now just to review, we went over how to set up Quick Loader for the first time to connect to Firelink panels through the Starlink radio. We also went over how to make the account upload the default factory programming, make some minor changes, and send those changes back to the panel. And we have many other links, which we'll post below to the Firelink videos and some tech documents. And as always, you can visit us on the web at tech.napcosecurity.com. Thank you all for watching today.